Hey man, shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, Pure Deliciousness. What's going on? What's happening, man? So on and so forth. Listen, I was sitting here saying that I was going to make y'all a cooking video real soon. I'm going to get right back into this cooking thing, man. It's, you know, we're going through a little turbulence right now. So, you know, so, something small to a giant. We're going to make it work. We're going to do what we do. Hopefully, y'all are liking, comment, sharing, and subscribe to this page, Pure Deliciousness. Um, because not only I'm showing the stories over here right now because of what's going on, I'm also going to be cooking back over here again. And I'm going to be having uh, different people on here to cook as well. We're going to be comparing foods. I'm going to be tasting food. I'm going to be, you know, eating my meals, you know, letting y'all see, you know, or and reviewing other meals from places that I eat just to let y'all know if I think it's good or not or if I think it's pure deliciousness. You did? So, with that being said, man, I was thinking about something. I seen something that made me think about, uh... The meals out here, like I say, you know, they got that Oysters Rockefeller, right? Since I've been out here, that's one of my favorites because if y'all been watching me, y'all already know that I like oysters. I like oysters. I like baby clams. I like seafood, you know, and we was able to get oysters in there. And we used to whip, I used to whip the oysters up a certain type of way. I did not know it was akin to Oysters Rockefeller, but now that I do know, so... I'm like, man, I was doing something like that in there. So this is what the way I used to cook my oysters in there. So you can call this, you know, uh, prison style oysters Rockefeller. So I'm going to show you all how to make it as quick, as fast. It's not that difficult. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, <laughs> it's pure deliciousness. It rocks with the oysters Rockefeller out here to me. You know, because I ate them like this, this way so long, way longer than I, you know, ate the Oysters Rockefellers out here. But don't get me wrong, I've been to restaurants out here since I've been out where the Oysters Rockefeller is delicious. But, was it pure delicious? Was it mine? So, let's get into prison style Oyster Rockefeller. A la Banky Pound. Let's get it. All right, now. This is what you need. This is the type of oysters we got. This is the exact same type of oysters we got in the penitentiary. Canned oysters, right? So, what you're going to definitely need is some canned oysters. Um, garlic. Always have garlic. Um, Creole seasoning. We used to have like Cajun seasoning. It's basically the same thing. Some type of Cajun seasoning. I always use Old Bay. That's optional. Um... Got to get this out the kitchen, a lemon from a dude in the kitchen. And you got to get you some Parmesan cheese or some mozzarella cheese, right? You also had to get this from a kitchen man that worked on the staff side in order to get this. And um, you already know this is one of my favorites, you understand? That good old Texas peak hot sauce. And some butter, which also had to come out of the kitchen when you're in the penitentiary. But... That's all you need to make prison style oyster Rockefeller. Let's get it. All right, first thing you do is this, right? You're gonna open the uh, you're gonna open the oysters, right? Get them open, bada bang, and then you gotta take the juice out. Now, normally we'll keep the juice because in the penitentiary we use the juice to cook with. So you drain all the juice out. We use this oil in the penitentiary to cook with. This is our cooking oil. Normally our oysters, clams and stuff, that's our cooking oil, man. So we don't waste this. But then again, I'm telling you in the penitentiary, <laughs> we don't hardly waste nothing. Because we ain't got it like that. So you got to preserve anything you got. Uh, you drain all that out. Once you can drain that out, you keep that oil because, like I said, you're going to use that oil to cook with, right? All right. This the thing. Now, we did it in the microwave, but we're going to do it in the oven because I want to see how it tastes in the oven. But you can go microwave, too. So while we're doing that, I'm going to cut the um, I'm gonna cut the air fryer on. Air fryer. Let that crank up. Okay. Now, this is what you're going to have, right? You got this, all right? And then we're going to go from this, and we're 
we're going to take and we're going to put our garlic on this thing, right? Sprinkle that thing with that garlic. Get it all up in there. You see what I'm saying? Get that garlic all up in there. Bam! You hit it with this Cajun seasoning. Woo, love. Get that Cajun all up in there. Yeah. Yeah, you get it in there. Mmm. <coughs> that Cajun spice. <coughs> oh, woo! Cajun get in your throat. Put a little bit of uh, mint. I go with this little obey. I told you the obey is optional. It depends on how you like yours, right? Then you take your bump, right? Bam! Put that butter in there. Yeah, you gotta drop that butter on there. Shots of that butter. Put two shots of that butter on the top. Just like that, right? And then we, we get that lemon. For the lemon, you might have to break out that Bethlehem. Right? Cut that lemon in half. Wow. That lemon right there. Take that lemon and you squeeze that on there. Yeah. Get that good lemon juice on there. Mm -hmm. See that there? Oh, I can't mess this bad thing on the computer up. Y'all don't really know what time it is with that. I can't afford it. Now right, you put that lemon on there. sauce on it, y'all know I like. Depends on how spicy you want your rocket fellas. You did. Hit that right there, like that. You understand me? Break out this punish, y'all. Hey! Drop that punish, y'all. Prison, man, we, hey, we make it work, man. However we got to make it work. See what I'm saying? Then this is what you got. See what I'm saying? This is what you got. But you want, and then you want to put this in the microwave or the oven until you start see that thing bubbling. Once you see it bubbling, you pull it out. So, I'm going to set it in the oven. Start in the microwave. So, Rest a little piece of that off. Watch this oven open. Set this thing in there. And I'm going to set this straight in the oven. Close it. And we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to see what's happening. We gonna see how this thing is, cause I'm trying to let y'all know this stuff is pure deliciousness. Yeah, y'all learn something new today. You gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. You gonna learn today about prison rocket rock of uh, Austin Rockefeller. Yeah, bang it pound style. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying? Because I, I try to eat good when I was in there, man. I ain't no choice, you know. Starving like Marvin, you got to try to do what you got to do, you know. You got to try to get it done, man. We ain't we want afforded everything y'all was afforded out here. So we had to do what we had to do. Eat how we had to eat. Make it work how we had to make it work. And a lot of times, it was we was doing things that ain't even really know what we was doing. We ain't know. We ain't have a clue. We just knew 
It tastes good. That's what I knew. I knew if it tastes good, it was all right. I don't care what you call it, what the name is. I just wanted it to taste good. You dig? And once it tastes good, man, I rock with it. I did a lot of trial and error with food in there, man. Tried this, tried that. You know, just trying to find something that tastes good. Because we was limited in everything. We limited in the seasoning that we could get. We limited in the vegetables. We limited in the food, the quality, everything. So you got to make it work how you can make it work. And, um, yeah, I used to do it. You did? Period. They listen. Because I, I done made a lot of food, just like I told y'all in other videos. I done made a lot of food that came out that ain't taste good. I threw it away or gave it away. Because somebody always eat it because somebody always hungry. So what may not taste good to me may taste good to somebody else. But, you know, yeah, we, I, I done messed up a lot of food, dog. <laughs> I done messed up a whole lot of food. Now, usually you eat your Austin Rockefellers. I got two type of crackers, man. I can go with my, my, my Ritz. Or I can go to my Towns. I, you know, I like these, man. I, I do. I like them. They got like a rich, buttery flavor. You know what I'm saying? We had both of them in there as well. We had both of them in there. I used to, you know, order both of them. I like crackers. You know, I, you know, everything, noodles, everything on crackers, man. I've used all of that on crackers. I'm going to be showing y'all a lot of little short, quick meals I used to make. Fast, good, quick. Don't cost you hardly no money. You can do it at home. Uh, you know, don't get caught up in your ego. Oh, man, I'm eating noodles. Yeah, okay. News cap jokers alive in prison. Please believe me. Let me see what's happening. Oh, yeah, she working. She working. Yeah, but noodles, noodles kept dudes alive in prison, man. I'm telling you right now. There's a lot of dudes in prison right now. Uh, they would have starved if they had noodles. <laughs> I'm talking real tough. They would have literally starved if they had noodles. Like I told y'all, the price that they pay you for a job in prison is nothing, man. It's, it's garbage. You don't make $27 a month on a regular job in prison. So what can you get this, you know, that's going to be worth eating? You can't hardly get anything. If you get meat products or anything like that, you're talking three, four, five dollars a pop. So you get a summer sausage that's no bigger than this and costs you three, four dollars. You get two of them or three of them, you know what I'm saying? That's twelve dollars right there. That's almost half your check. And... Summer sizes ain't going to last you nothing but two meals. Really one if you want to make a sandwich because I used to take and cut them in half and put them on a bagel and make a bagel sandwich with them. So that right there alone, five, six, six, seven dollar meal. You see what I'm saying? So that's why dudes learn how to budget in prison too because you got to space that money out, man. <laughs> you got to make sure you can last to the next store day. So a lot of dudes can't eat like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you eat like that, man. I'm telling you, that's a meal, man. That's a snack. If you eat a bagel sandwich with a summer sausage on, that's just a snack. But in price-wise, that's big boy eating in prison. You know? And, and you eat two, three bagels a day, man. <laughs> if you eat four, if you eat two, two bagels for lunch and two bagels for dinner, man. You talking about almost fifty dollars? You know what I'm saying? Almost. You know. Let me see. Four a. You talk about six twelve. Then you had the bagels. You went on there. And then twenty some. Um. Then you go. Yeah. Yeah. You talking about about well, forty forty something dollars? Just in a day. That's twice, almost twice, or one and a half of, of what you make on a state check in a whole month. And you knocking that down in a day if you eating bagels. You know what I'm saying? And putting and putting some sausages on. Then you gotta put the jalapenos on. You gotta put the mayonnaise on. You gotta put the cheese on. Cheese block costs three dollars. Mozzarella cheese stick three dollars. Um uh cheddar cheese uh uh cheese block three dollars. Uh pepper jack cheese block three dollars. You know what I'm saying? So bagel, you know what I'm saying? One fifty. You dig? So <laughs> you 
You got to be thinking about all that when you're eating up in that joint, man. That's why dudes eat noodles. You know what I'm saying? They get a noodle, man. Throw a little something in a noodle. They get a noodle and take a summer sausage and make that summer sausage last for 10, 12 noodles. Cutting little pieces of the summer sausages off, chopping them up in little dices and putting them in there. Put a little onion flakes in there. Put a little garlic in there. You know what I'm saying? Eat that. You know what I'm saying? Throw a little shredded cheese in there. You eat that, that's a meal. Throw some crackers with it. Bam, bam, bam. You get full. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. But, you know, like I say, this penitentiary, man. You got to get it how you live. And a lot of people, like I say, every time now and then, you want to treat yourself, man. You don't want to treat yourself. You want to eat something good, man. You want to eat something that tastes good. You're already locked up. You're already away from your loved ones. You're already, you know, uh, 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 depressed, oppressed, and suppressed. Man, let me eat something good. You know, that's how dudes felt. That's how I felt. Oh, she getting ready. She's working. She working. Yeah. But y'all can smell it. I wish you could smell it now, man. You know, we ain't came up with no smell cam. You know how we talked about that smell cam. Somebody got to come up with that. I get behind it. You know what I'm saying? I endorse it. I use it. You know, I promote it. Smell cam, dog, because I can smell them horses right now. Popping. <clears throat> and I'm home. You did, man. I ate all day. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm been working. I've been, you know, uh, uh, through through a whole lot today, man. <laughs> Chicken racing, skull duggery, larceny, uh, tongue fooling, all that that has entered my circumference today. But you know, it is what it is, man. TBP Nation, man. We're gonna be pushing this period to listen this, man. I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna need y'all to bring somebody else over here. I'm going to need y'all to try these meals like we was doing when I first started doing Pure Deliciousness. I'm going to need you to test these meals, man, since you can't pull up on me and test mine. I'm going to need you to remake this. you seen the ingredients. you seen how I went step by step. Try it yourself. And hit me back. If you don't agree, only if you like oysters. If you don't like oysters, don't try it. If you do like oysters and you do like Oyster Rockefeller, try this. And hit me back and let me know if I'm snatching. Let me know. And you could even make a video, send it to me, and I could tell you if you, you know, if you, you know, missed a step or if you ain't do it right. But if you try step by step the way I did it, the way I do it, and you like oysters, ah, but me listen more. Whatever the, that means. <laughs> Whatever that means. She almost bubbling. Watch when that thing come out. Watch how good it look. Watch how delicious it look. Watch me. You understand? I told y'all, man, I cried to me for a lot to you, man. I told you I be whipping. Be whipping, man. I learned it all on my own, too. All on my own. But it probably was in my jeans, you know, because Mama Pam be whipping. Mama Pam can cook straight up. I put up against anybody. Anybody, anywhere, with any meal. If she know how to cook it, she'll outcook them. Real tough. Fried chicken, forget about it. Forget mac and cheese, forget about it. Yeah, my money on Mama Pam all day, every day. Twice on Sunday. That's when she really get out because it's the lowest day. You did. <laughs> yeah. So she almost right, man. I'm going to pull her out in a minute. And I'm going to let y'all see this thing, man. But this is, you know, this is how we did it in the penitentiary, man. Penitentiary style. Oyster. Rockefeller, a la Maggie Pound Billy Nation Stacks. Hold on. I'm sitting on this because I know she's coming out hot. She's coming out hot and spicy. She's coming out hot and spicy, man. She's coming out hot and spicy. She coming out hot and spicy, man. She coming out hot and spicy. I'ma learn you if y'all wanna learn. I'm gonna learn you how to eat good when you ain't got that much going on. You ain't got that much money. You ain't got that much this. You ain't got that much that. You can make it work. You can make it work, man. You can make it work. I'm trying to tell you. We see. I'm going to give about a couple of, uh, two more minutes. She bubbling. 
And see, the microwave would have went fast on him. Microwave would have went fast on him. You know, you know, I'm a micro, I'm a microwave magician. You did? You ain't never heard that before, did you? You ain't even never heard them two words put together. I'm a microwave magician with the food. See, I make magic. Voila. Voila. Magic with that microwave magician, man. But I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it put, the, put that word man, on this right here. That's for sure. And then get to making y'all some more content, right? You know? Mercy, they gave me a default bag, man. Okay, okay. Gave me a default bag. Okay. She almost bubbling over. That's what I needed to do. I needed to bubble over. That way we know she cooked right, she cooked thorough. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never did it in the oven. I do it in the microwave, though. But, you know, when in Rome, I like Rome. Got a stove now, so with a hair fry on it. Let's try. See what it do. Do what it do. What y'all eat today? Talk to me. Tell me in the comments. I bet it won't good as this. Guaranteed. What you drawing back? Huh? Talk to me. Let me see. Boom. Cut it off. She gonna, we gonna pull off. We gonna pull out because she browning. She browning. Ah. Woo. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. I gotta get that camera angle right. Ah. Uh uh. Uh uh. I don't wanna do that. Let me get that camera angle right. Let me get that camera angle. If it don't take good, yeah. look good. It look good. Do it take good. Let's get with the crackers. I'm gonna go with the townhouse crackers since I had some open already. Yeah, I ain't built like that. I ain't got no money to be burning. You need? Oh no! A couple of them things about there. Now let me show you something. Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Let me get up in here. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it, look at that. Monsters, Rockefeller. Penitentiary style. Yeah. Pull some of that stuff up out there. Yeah. Oh, it's hot, though. She hot. She smoking. She smoking. Smoking. I'm gonna pull it up out there. Put it on that crap for y'all. I don't know if I can taste it when it just happened, man. But she blazing. Oh, she looks delicious, though. That ain't no lie. Mm. She blazing, though. She's super duper hot. Because I bring it straight out the oven for y'all. So I want y'all to be able to see it. Mmm. See that? See that? Get that angle on there. You see that smoke coming up over that thing? See that? Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I can bite it though, man. It's hot. <laughs> but y'all want to get a good laugh on it. It burned me up. Mmm. Oscar, Oscar, who? Rock a who? Go, man. Oh, 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 oh. Man. I 
made this joint so long, I dig on you forgot what this joint hitting on. And she hitting on it. Oh, yeah, she hitting on it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Try this and tell me I'm lying. Try this and tell me I'm lying. Call somebody. Try this and tell me I'm lying. And I ain't. I ain't going to order that Spencer Orson Rockefeller no more. I ain't trying to hit on them people. I ain't trying to hit on them. Get your money. Get your money. I ain't, no, I ain't no blocker. I ain't no hater. But, I ain't got that type of money neither. Mmm. 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 Yeah. What's going on there? Yeah. Mm hmm This is it right here. I ain't lying to you. This is it. If you like oysters, this is it right here. This is it. Cheap, affordable, delicious. Mm. I'm going to get it later on. You do for y'all. I'm going in there later on. I'm going in. I ain't going to last too. I'm going to eat this all day. But really, man, I'm going to eat this later on. Nightcap. Nightcap. I'm going to get a good workout in. Nightcap. Yeah. Yes, I am. Later on. Bon appétit. Mmm. Mmm. I wish you taste it. I really do. I want y'all to taste it. I want y'all to taste it. Follow my step by step. Make a video. Send it to me. Give me your real review. And I'm all posted. But. You're not going to tell me you don't you, you like oysters and this ain't good. you just not going to do it. I don't believe it. I just don't believe that. Because I love oysters. And I know what they taste like. And I know good is good. Good. Good looking boy. Salute. You see that? Wala! Huh. Yeah, we out here eating good. Can't take this stuff. Can't stop, won't stop. Thirty three years prison store, bank account, pure delicious. Let's get it. Let's go. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please comment. I want to know your thoughts. Right now. I'm going to mess this up. And I'm going to try. I'm not going to pump. I'm going to try. Not to make another one right now. Because it's good. We out here. TBP Nation. Stand up, man. Big love. Let's go. Let's go. Salute. Talk to me. I talk back. Y'all be safe. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. And by all means, duck them hooks. And eat you some pure.